तो और लोगों के लिए आप क्या कहना चाहती हो Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. What a rough couple of days it has been. On Tuesday morning a couple of days ago my grandmother passed away. She was 97 years old and she was in Pakistan. She was from an era in which they used the stars to find out the time and she had 10 children and the default for making medicines was using herbs she didn't watch tv and gossip she wasn't into technology she was very old school she was an amazing person some of you probably even remember her from my pakistani vlog to aur logon ke liye aap kya kehna chahti that is very good advice लोगों के बारे में किसी से गुस्सा ज्यादा है फिर बंदा क्या करे गुस्से की जरूरत है ताप छोड़ना किस तरह पीना ना उसकी बोतल पेप्सी पैसों के बारे में क्या कहना चाहती हो माओ राय लाजी and of course she gave birth to an equally amazing woman my mom <laughs> and they say guys can't express their true feelings you know <laughs> so naturally as soon as my mom found out about this she wanted to get on the first plane back to pakistan so she could participate in the funeral rites but unfortunately my mom's pakistani documentation was expired so she had to get a visa but that meant going to the pakistani high commission here in london oh i'm afraid my experience there was absolutely terrible the guy responsible for handling these cases should be understanding supportive and gentle but he was the exact opposite now because i've taken the issue forward and i've given evidence of the recordings i had and the whatsapp messages that's being dealt with i don't want to embarrass him online even though his attitude was absolutely vile so the visa application is supposed to be done solely online so get this your family member dies and rather than getting this process done as soon as possible so you can arrange the flights and the PCR and everything no you got to find a laptop now and you have to go through this process find documents and fill in these boxes and you know what makes things worse the website is terrible if you don't upload one thing properly it doesn't even let you go to the next step and the beauty is there's no helpline there you can't call somebody that can walk you through it or that can help you get past that step no so for us the issue was submitting the picture now my mom got a picture done professionally as they were we got a digital copy we submitted that on the site it wasn't working we cannot detect the eyes right what do you want me to do if you can't detect the eyes it's a professional image and even they say there's errors and errors can happen but then what do we do so now i'm having to tell my mom mom i want to take a picture she's trying to grieve me what a dumb process but they're saying that the emergency the emergency guy can only help once the application is done online wow so i spent hours sitting on there you know doing whatever i can so alhamdulillah you know even though it was madness absolute madness i got it done then i called this Donna yeah the emergency guy 
this guy is a real piece of work mate yeah absolute heartless individual sarcasm rhetorical questions yeah you called yeah if you put the phone down i can get the job done yeah but when is it gonna be done i could take seven to eight days the guy man tells me seven to eight days the guy is on the emergency line he's telling me seven to eight days are you mad now because this is a case for my mum bro I, I i said and I was like, yo, I didn't say it to him. I was respectful to these people. Yeah, because I knew I had to get the work done for my mum. And when you start getting rude, then they start playing games, innit? But this was an issue for my mum. I was like, yo, I've done what I can with these people. Now it's time to escalate the matter. Yeah, so I put up. It wasn't rude like, yo, I'm declaring war on these people. No, I, I put out the message to you guys. And it's you guys that get the job done. And when I put out that message, mashallah, some of you guys have some serious connections. And I'd hope you did. The matter escalated to such a degree. I was getting calls left, right and centre. Just, just getting it done. Alhamdulillah for me, look, it's not about embarrassing people or naming and shaming. Man just needed to get a visa for my mum. That, that's, that's priority. She's the only family member. That, it's me and my mum here. That's my family. So I will use whatever I can. If she is being violated, like that's it. And Alhamdulillah, you guys felt the same way and you helped in this process. May Allah bless you. May Allah give you Jannah. And you know what? I wanted to mention a few points. And the first point was this. Many of you guys I haven't met with. We don't know each other. We've barely even spoken. But you watch my videos in which I, you know, promote Islam in the best way I can. So in essence, it's the bond of love for Allah and His Prophet wasallam that has brought us together. And there are other people that sometimes on social media they say, yeah, don't trust friends and don't do this and don't do that. Look, and that's why we invite you to the, the glory of Islam, the purity of this religion, that if you do stuff for the sake of Allah, you will attract such people to you. Me and my mom are both eternally grateful to you guys. And number two, it reminded me of the Battle of Badr, yeah, where it was 313 Muslims that were unarmed against an army of a thousand armed to their teeth. And that's why it was, if you look at my Twitter post, about 270 retweets, I don't have a significant following on Twitter, on Instagram, Alhamdulillah on YouTube, yes. But Alhamdulillah, I put it on all these platforms. I was getting messages on Facebook, Instagram. Brothers with small followings, they were sharing it. On Twitter, they were adding the, the right people. And Alhamdulillah, and the people were like 20 followers, 30 followers, a couple of hundred followers. Subhanallah. And that, you know what? Compare that, the Battle of Badr. Few people in number, but Subhanallah, the effect was great. Yeah, it was quality over quantity and that's what we saw well that's what I saw and that's the attitude that subhanallah it's inspirational for me and inshallah for the viewers as well how some people mashallah with even the little bit that they have they go above and beyond and I request that we take this energy and we continue it with other cases in which Muslims are being persecuted. So guys alhamdulillah my one got sorted but one thing that I wanted to do and I said to my mom that you know, we need to use a situation because there was a time where subhanAllah, it was just me and my mom, we'd go and spend hours in the embassy and you know, going from one person to another and it was crazy. Now, Alhamdulillah, with social media, we can, you know, we have a big following so we can put out a message. But what point, like I said, is having a big following if you can't use it to help people, yeah? So I just want to say, and please forward this and retweet it on Twitter, I'll put it on the pinned tweet. We need to get these three improvements done in the Pakistani embassy. Yeah? Number one, the first thing is the workers should be wearing name tags, some sort of identification. Because when I asked for their names, they were very reluctant. Yeah, it took ages for me to get their names. Number two, the emergency number should not be handled by the individual that was there a day or two ago. Yeah, that guy cannot handle and treat such people because if somebody that's gone through a bereavement you have to be able to handle that person with the care and respect and empathy if you can't do that you're in the wrong job mate yeah go go to another department because you are going to be dealing with people that are eager to get the job done and number three and this is the most important one the whole process should not be restricted to online. It's ridiculous. We went there, there was nothing there. 
They sent us back home. We called there. The communication is very poor, not very transparent. Yeah, so the communication needs to be clear. The website needs to be done properly. If there's issues, have a contact number there. So when the seniors called me, I said, look, we need something in place. And what can someone else do if they're ever in a situation like mine? They said, look, and I say this as well, look, don't complain and make a mountain out of a molehill because what you're doing is when they start thinking, oh, everybody complains, everyone's rude. Don't be rude because they'll disregard what you say. Stay respectful, kind, keep your tone you know, at a decent level. And number two, don't make complaints about every little thing because it makes it difficult for people that actually do have issues. So when I spoke to her, she said, if there's like an issue and it's not being resolved, ask them to bring the deputy yeah, to speak to the deputy and of course ask for names and uh, yeah guys don't trivialize the system and let's leave it there isn't it I don't want to say too much because obviously they're investigating the matter or whatnot and alhamdulillah mom's on her way there and I can breathe a sigh of relief and actually grieve yeah, because we haven't even had a chance to grieve properly and yeah guys jazakallah khair for all your support and inshallah this process gets uh, made more efficient for people that uh, are actually in a situation that needs support and care. Let's leave it there guys until next time. Assalamu alaikum.